One of the key focus areas for the NAC is fostering social cohesion and nation building. This is especially important when you think about racial and gender tensions that grip South Africa and the world at present. Applicants need to know that while the world's battles continue, the way we treat them will have to change. At this moment, we are facing evolution and adaptation within the arts world. The NAC is hoping to retain all artists and to maintain their energy through funding from the NAC in order to uplift communities, to boost their morale and to um, keep up the entertainment as a whole. To some, social distancing has amplified the social isolation that happens and art projects that seek to address this will be looked at more favourably. So I like to believe that NAC exists on one hand to be the guardian of the identity creation and the identity project of South Africa. So every citizen has an idea in their head about what South Africa stands for and that's probably rooted in the constitution of South Africa as a social contract amongst all of us. So the NAC then has to promote an aesthetic agenda and an identity agenda for what it means to be South African. When the artist does their work well, everyone in the community benefits. The money helps us to go to the communities to promote this marginalized language and secondly, uh, the, the money does a lot of things for us. It's, it's an overall package. We're able to buy costumes, able to buy props, able to hire whatever we need, able to hire transport, hire sound, and everything that is needed. And then to also to take the roadshow on the road, the awareness campaign office in Debele to the people of Mpumalanga. The National Arts Council, an agency of the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture.